Coming up on a brand new Spooky Shiz, Evil Dies Tonight. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Twitch, hey, come on, kids, get out of here. I'm trying to do something. God, jeez. Anyways, let's start over. Welcome back, everyone. Toys is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at NECA Toys. And today, we are totally checking out their brand new Ultimate Michael Myers from the brand new Halloween Kills movie that's slated to hit tomorrow now depending on when you see this video the side of the box sports that gorgeous front of the box artwork very very cool and on the back of the box michael myers posing for his various kills he comes with a ton of accessories i really dig that it'll make for some very cool photos that's for sure and here's everyone associated with the creation of this figure. So thank you very much for that. And here's the barcode as well. This is an early review sample and they should be hitting very, very shortly. Fingers crossed, right? Open up the box and you get a really nice photo, creepy photo of Michael Myers just standing there all silent. And then of course you get to see the figure inside the box. So this is gonna be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot spot. Oh my God. Well, I told him. Anyways, this is a look at the brand new Ultimate Michael Myers from the new Halloween Kills movie by NECA Toys. And of course, here is Michael Myers all out of the packaging. And like I said, yeah, he comes with a ton of accessories. All killing machines for him to tackle like this butcher's knife. Pretty cool. It's just fun. Yeah, this is the non-bloody one because he also comes with a phosphorescent bulb that looks like it's got wet blood on it. That's very cool. I have to say, I gotta give it to him all day on that one. This looks like he just, I don't know, stabbed it in someone's face, right? Comes with a large baseball bat. Very simplistic baseball bat. Looks like a wooden baseball bat. Jose Canseco, please don't tell me you paid money for this. And then everyone's favorite, Halligan Bar. Yeah, I had to look this one up. Now that I know what it is, I'm like, oh, okay, I've definitely seen one of these, but yeah, I had no idea until I looked it up. That's what a firefighter uses. And if you've seen the trailer, you know how he uses it. And then he comes with a pair of extra hands. You got some cut off digits and they're all wrapped up. These are extra killing hands, you could say, to hold all the weapons because the one I got on there right now is just a regular hand, non-item holding hand. And they're painted really nicely. This is my favorite of the batch right here. This is the Silver Shamrock Skull Kid Heads All Bashed In Mask. Now it's just a mask. It doesn't have any ball peg or anything in there, but I mean, that's, that's pretty darn cool. And then you get an extra Michael Myers head portrait. And the difference between the two, as I'll show you in just a second, one's got a more regular kind of blacked out eyes. And then you got like a battle damage kind of eye on one hand. Here, let me get my witch flashlight out for you. You can see the eyes right here. So it's more just like the subtle, that's his eyes. And then you take the Michael Myers figure and he looks dang good. And I'll show you my prior Halloween movie figure compared to this guy in just a second. But it's nice to see the sequel, he's all burned on one side. Now he's got the bandaged hand from when he got the shotgun blast and he just looks dang good. This is a very simplistic look to Michael Myers, but it's very effective with all the folds and all the different grease and everything else that's all over him. He's got peg holes on the bottom of his feet. Yeah, he's got a creepy mask. And when, again, compared to the other head portrait, it's basically the same until you really look in the eyes. And on this one, he's got like a battle damaged eye. More carryover from the last movie. Just extra damage, much like his hands. But he does come with the bloodied butcher's knife right there. That's pretty cool. You can see this one in comparison. And his articulation works for a Michael Myers figure. I mean, you're just looking for putting the... Uh, Knives or the weapons up into kill mode, and there you go. But you do get to achieve that with some double jointed elbows and some wrists, and I mean, they all work pretty dang good. And you can swap the hands real easy peasy, and I'll show you in just a second his hands all hold the weapons. Not much of an ab crunch or a twist, but you can have him do the splits if you wanted to do that, and he'll rock at the knee, and he's got single jointed with some ankles. And the articulation is really good. Didn't have to heat this guy up at all, which is really nice to be able to say. And as far as photography goes, yeah, he will look great when you got all your lights and your professional setup a-going. He'll be right there on the killing room floor, that's for sure. This guy can hold all the different weapons, in some cases for some unfortunate people, but this is where that mask really comes into play, I think. Again, kind of looking at the trailer and such like that. 
Hey, it looks like he bashed this kid's head in. Now again, he doesn't have a peg to hold it on, but it stays on. And you can see, yeah, it's pretty much the same mask. It just, that one's got some battle damage to it. And you can put it on Michael Myers. He looks like, like a janitor ghost rider, to be honest with you. Or he kind of has, in so many words, like that Marvel zombie sort of look, where it was like the covers with that really creepy looking artwork. But in either case, yeah, it works for me too. And you can go double fisted on the old butcher's knives if you want to do that he holds them rather naturally even though he's missing a couple digits and of course he's got the phosphorescent bulb just pulled it out of somebody's head or you got the firefighter's tool yeah he's killing everybody that michael myers you know what i'm saying now this is kind of fun to kind of compare him to the last outings halloween movies michael myers it's kind of fun because it's basically the same figure. Yes, the hands and the mask and everything else has changed and he's more bloodied in the first one. He's all bandaged up in this one, but it's kind of fun to see all the incurring damage to old Michael Myers. And I'm really stoked because my light-up pumpkin still works. That's pretty cool. If you've got quite a Negatoys horror shelf, especially if you're pulling them all out for Halloween, yeah, he's going to look great. And hopefully he does hit before Halloween. Fingers crossed on that. But yeah, you pull out Freddy, you got Jason, he's gonna look great with them as well. As far as scaling with like the 8 inch retro and things like that, yeah, they're gonna be obviously taller. And hey, while we're off topic, have you guys seen that new Chucky show yet? I'm actually really intrigued by that. Looking forward to that series for sure. And, you know, Candyman, yeah, you can hang out with Michael Myers if you <laughs> wanted to. Then you have Sam. This is the retro cloth version. Good old Sam. Yeah, he's a little bit too tall. I got to pull out my other more in scale Sam. And the kids from the season of The Witch, I mean, they'll scale really nicely with this guy. And he's going to kill them, obviously. So that's really going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new Necatoys Halloween Kills Ultimate Michael Myers, it's a pretty solid figure. If you're into horror and that whole shebang, yeah, I think this will be right up your alley. Not many complaints about this guy. It's pretty straightforward. You get a Michael Myers figure, all the hands attached, the articulation works. You don't have to heat him up, which is always nice to say. Nothing feels like it's gonna break or stretch or anything else like that. All the weapons are very cool to have. I kind of wish that the bat had some blood on it too, just to kind of complete that look of bashing the skull person's head in but yeah yeah i guess we all can't be complainers about every little thing but i am curious to know what you guys think about this new halloween kills figure are you excited for the movie comment below let me know let's talk everything ultimate michael myers and thank you again to NECA toys for sending this over to give you guys this fresh look before you go see the film and i'm gonna leave you guys with that as always drink some great coffee eat some great food but most importantly remember have a fantastic halloween it's coming up real shortly, much like everything this year. It's all flown by. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.